Hello everybody, this is Atomic and welcome to a brand new episode of Battle Chasers Night War. So last time we um, we were in the Iron Outpost and I stopped part way through and I've, re I've reloaded the game and I can see that actually I'm outside of the Iron Outpost now so I'm a bit worried that... Oh no, so it says continue dungeon so it doesn't look like we have to start again from scratch. Which is good because uh, we've done quite a lot last time. But yes, it doesn't look like we have to, so that's really, really good. Pleased with that. So, we've come back to the start of the dungeon, but hopefully most of the stuff we did will still be done. Yeah, look, these chests are still open. Oh, actually, there's a box that I don't think we got here. Oh, no, it's just a book. It's just a book. Okay, so I can't really remember which way it was. So I'm just going to walk around a bit. Ah, yes, here we go. So let's have a look. At the teleporter so yeah we wanted to go i wanted to go to this one next to us who's my favorite character of these three i think it might be garrison to be honest who's your favorite character of these three guys let me know in the comments please do and obviously we'll get some more characters later ah so here we are so this is where so we've got to try and avoid this and then we have a fight as well whoa Right, so let's see how the trap works then. So you want to run down and dodge the fire that comes out each side. There we go, looks like we did that. That was pretty easy. I suppose it was only the first one. So I'm going to try and just lure one, if that's possible. I don't know if it is possible. We got one yeah we did just get one actually oh no we did get two i thought we just got one which would have been perfect but uh but no never mind so we'll uh we'll try and hit everybody at once i think with our abilities there we go oh that wild gunner is in some trouble already actually and uh scatter shot okay here we go. Yes, that was perfect. Killed them both. It does say knocked out in the in the health. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but uh but let's face it, we just shot those guys to pieces. Ah, right, so Calibretto's unlocked Swift Cleanse and Gully's unlocked Taunt. Both got to level five. That's good. So do I have time to check what they do? Yeah, it looks like I will do, yeah. So we're going to go to combat abilities. Swift cleanse. Here we go. Remove up to two debuffs from a single ally. Okay, fine. And taunt is draw the next three attacks to gully, reducing the damage of each by 10% during its five overcharge. Okay, all right, fine. So gully is setting up to be a tank, I guess. Um, is it just one left? Looks like it. Let's just throw this switch. Uh, hey there, stow your weapons and we'll have no quarrel. I'm not much of a fighter, I'm more of a gambler. I find it's faster and less bloody way to earn gold. What do you say, want to try your hand with Lady Luck? Just a simple f coin flip, nothing fancy. Odds are 50-50, I swear on my honour. Alright, we'll do it. We'll call it heads. Comes up heads, you win, excellent. Here's your gold, fair and square. Okay, can I have the chest then? Oh, I actually can. You just let me have it. Nice, so we got a tunic for Gully, which is the same as what we've got, so never mind. Okay, so that looks like this area is done. Done and dusted. So I'm just going to see if the map changes at all, or if it, you know we just sort of have to remember what we've done. Because it would be nice if the map tells us what we have done, but I have a feeling that it's not going to. Let's have a look-see. No, it does actually say done. Wait, but there's still an exclamation mark there. So what does that mean? Let's just have another look around. There's still an exclamation mark. Alright, so where have we not been? We went down there. We've not gone up here. So, what's up here? We did this, didn't we? Yeah, I'm sure we did. And we've been down here. And there's nothing around here. 
No, nothing around here. Everything around here we've like picked up. Yeah. Okay, so it can't be over there then, so it must be down here. Maybe it's because that gambler is still there and we've not fought him. That's just about the only thing I can think of. Or is it because of this scroll? Or is it because of this, maybe? Oh, there's another thing here. I don't know if we had that before. Anything over here? No. What does the statue say again? Oh yeah, just tread lightly. I always tread lightly. Well, that's not true, actually. Okay, we're just going to leave because I can't see anything else to do in this area. So where are we now? We've got another book. I'm not going to read these guys because... Because honestly, I could spend all day reading a uh, reading the the books. And uh, oh no, okay, we've got fights. Oh, three this time. Three. It's gonna be a problem potentially. So I think the gunslinger will die fastest. So we'll take him out. Maybe the slime would have died fastest actually. Um, so Gully is getting hurt a bit. We're gonna swift strike the gunslinger again to take him down, and then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to have to heal Gully, and at the same time, I think. Gully, I want you to use barrier swing on the slime. So this should be pretty good. Nice punch. Oh, actually, because we healed, Garrison is the one that got the uh, the barrier swing. Well, that's okay. Is Garrison in trouble? No, he's fine. He's fine. He had his barrier. So I'll take down the green slime. That's done with. Good stuff. Um, what should I do? Should I just do 50 damage straight out? I think I should. And then we could do like the war blade because we have 45 overcharge mana. Nice. So I've noticed this eviscerator. Yeah, it deals 4 damage to attackers. It has a bladed shield, so it's actually hurting us back. So that's something I didn't notice before, but it's a good thing to know. Oh no, Garrison. Okay, we've taken it down. Garrison is, is hurt, though. Is hurt. We need to... Oh, he's got to level 5, so that's good. So maybe he'll heal up. We've unlocked Sting, so I wonder if there's going to be a chance to check what Sting does. Yeah, so Garrison has healed up, actually, so that's really handy. Sting deals 11 damage and generates 20 overcharge, applies a bleed. Oh, bleed. That's good. That's good. I like that. So there's a pool there and a chest here. We got the well handle. What's the well handle do? Okay, so do we have a well? Oh, I feel weaker. Reduces haste by 20%. Shrine of the Sloth. That's, uh... Not so fun, I will say. Are we going to make it into here? Yes, we are. So we got some herbs and some parts. And some money, of course. Okay. But I'm kind of annoyed... That that thing made us slower. So we found out. <gasps> no. Oh, that was close, guys. I thought it had a lot further down to go. So I still can't run. Oh, I can roll over that because it takes longer now. So let's go. So I got a well handle, and I don't really know what to do with that. So I'm going to go to the map. Maybe I can find a place where there was a well. I don't know, will the map help me? If not, I can just teleport. 
so again like they're they're done and I don't they do, they seem to be done I don't know what the exclamation marks are for okay so we still got a chest in this one so we'll go have a look at this um and we're gonna we're gonna wow lots of doors to open here that's a giant chest let's have some fun with this so this one opens oh it's a puzzle Okay, and it looks like we've made it to nothing. We don't have the chest yet. Now that one's open. So now do we want to do this? Yes, we do. So now we've made it to the chest, but let's uh, let's open. The, let's get this barrel first. A bottle. I don't like that the chest is like glowing with purple light. It kind of looks eerie and evil, doesn't it? We got wow, plenty of stuff. Iron ore, healing, a cannon, cannon which is not so good, it's the same cannon, we've got so many of these same cannons. Uh, let's sort that by, I guess most recent is handy actually. We need to find out what this well does. We need to find out what this well does, so let's have a quick look at this now. So the chest is gone, yeah, so, okay. Let's see what they say at this shrine. Oh, this shrine doesn't actually say anything. Oh, we've got three directions we can go. Hang on, I'm just going to check the map now. So we want to go right. We want to go right. Yeah. Over here we go. Let's see what's in this room. What's this? Shrine of energy, that sounds good to me. Passively generate overcharge, nice. Okay, so we're going for a battle. Oh, against three all at once. Okay, we're gonna sting because I think sting is good. Oh. Okay, so he didn't take a lot of damage, but I guess that's because he bleeds most of the time. Okay, we're gonna gut punch this bat. The bat might be the quickest to die, which would be useful. Um, I think we're gonna go for... I think we might go for a barrier swing. And we'll use it on the bat. Yeah, it's a good job we went for a barrier swing because Gully is in trouble, actually. Um, so we're going to give everybody haste. Oh no, Gully. Okay, got the shield now. Going to have to use heal when it's uh, Calibretto's turn. For definite. I'm just lucky that they didn't attack Gully, actually. But now Calabretto is hurting. The Gunslinger died, which is perfect, because um, he was about to have his attack. Uh, so, a damage shield. Place a damage shield. Yeah, let's place that shield on to Calabretto, because he is hurt. We're going to use Sting to get some bleed onto this uh, Eviscerator. I think that's a very good thing to do. Wow, look how much damage they do in one one go. I think it's probably worth healing again. And it probably is worth using Barrier Swing as well. And then he's going to use Warblade, I think. Yeah. So Garrison gets healed. Calibretto gets a bigger shield and that gets hit pretty hard. Good stuff, this is going okay. So we'll try and healing wave get, uh, yeah, Calibretto this time and go for an attack. Oh, it didn't finish it off actually, I thought it might. Okay, that's done it though. 
Oh, we unlocked a beast perk. Tank Buster. So that sounds like a good thing. Oh, we've got a ring. Coast Iron Ring of Blades. Let's check that out. Uh, so, the ring gives bonus damage and stamina. So we will give this to... Um, okay, so it seems to give Garrison less haste. So he must have a ring on already. I must have forgotten I'd give him one. So we'll just give it to Gully. And then we got a perk. Didn't we? We got a perk. A beast perk from fighting the Eviscerator. There we go. Tank Buster. Defeat 20 tanks, which increases the physical defense by 2% for all heroes. Cool. Okay. Uh, another thing to read. See, part of me wants to read it, but also at the same time, part of me doesn't want to spend every single, like a large chunk of every single episode reading. You know, I just don't know. Okay, so is this the best way to get back? Do I think we have time to make that? Yeah, I think we do. Or at least you, like, duck down here. Yeah, and then we're good. Another book to read. I'll just, I'll just, I'll pick them up so that I've got them all in my journal, but... I don't know, I don't see a point to it. Okay, so there's a eerie green pool over there. Let's just check I've done everything here. Yeah, eerie green pool... I think we're going to heal up. La that was our last heal. I don't know how we get those back, but that was our last one. So there's a spider there. Can we draw the spider in on his own? No. Okay, so we've got a ruined spider and a bandit brawler. The spider will die super quick. It's not even going to get an attack. Oh, it is going to get an attack actually because it goes before Calabretto. Okay, but the spider dies now. Boom! What a wallop. Uh, then we've got... Let's see. I think we're going to bury a swing. We're going to bleed him. Give a shield to Calibretto. Oh, perfect. And uh, he's going to use Gut Punch. And then we can get his combo off. But for now, Warblade, because we got 45 overcharge. And we're going to use a Quake Fist. 59 damage that does now. Oh, never mind. Wasn't even needed. Garrison, the hero, taking him down in a massive strike. Okay. So let's investigate this eerie green pool. I'm going to open the chest first. Just gold. Is that all I got? An oddly glowing pool pulses with dark energy. You make out faint glimmers of some sort of treasure in the middle of it. What do you do? Reach for the object now. Inspect the pool. Let's inspect it. You notice some corrupt dark energy periodically expands and retracts. Though it follows a rhythmic, predictable pattern, it still makes you feel uneasy. Ah, right. So let's... um reach when the I can see the pattern so we're gonna wait until it's gone and then we're gonna press reach for the object now yeah we got it what do we get an iron ring of blades that's cool actually I've never seen anything like that before so that's yeah I like that that was really different I think that was different I've never I've not played a game where something like that happens. So, thumbs up for me there. That was really interesting. It's different. Okay, so I think we've done everything in this room of the dungeon. These dungeons as well are pretty interesting. There's something different to do in every single one. Is this the room with the... Yeah, with the map and the teleporter. Let's just have a quick look. I think we've just want to go up now. Yeah, it looks like we do just want to go up. Two rooms left and then the boss room. At least I think it's a boss room. It's got a bigger, you know, demon symbol kind of thing. Boss symbol. Another thing to read. Oh, we got a revival flask from that book. So there we go. It is always worth opening the books. Anything through here at all? Nothing so far. Ah, yes, there's somebody on the other side of the bridge. 
Hold there. You will go no further. It can end here if you tell us where our friends are. Dead, certainly. Nah, they're not dead. If not, they will be after we kill you. Oh, not very nice. You shouldn't have come here, outsiders. Alright, well... We got a battle. Three bandits. An invisible one. They got the first shot off. Right, how do we want to start this out? I think we want to start out with a wildfire, to be honest. Maybe um, a jab to get some overcharge up. Yeah, and a swift strike again for him to get some overcharge up so that we can use Warblade. Oh, gully, 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 gully. Don't take damage like that, please. All right, so they are... Ah, they're healing. How annoying. But we can kill the gunslinger, and then it doesn't matter how much she heals, because he's dead. We'll do... a barrier swing on the rogue, I think. Call lightning, wow. Oh, Garrison is taking some damage. Maybe we'll have to use Calibretto to heal. He took no damage from that, actually. Okay, we're going to use Warblade on the Warden. We're going to do a nice chunk of damage because he's got 45 overcharge. Here we go. Nice, down to 25. So, I mean, really, Garrison is doing work for us. Okay, Gully's turn is going to end the Warden. Yeah. So that's good because that means no more healing and we can do some healing ourselves. Perfect. Stop poisoning poor Gully. Okay. This is going well. Definitely going well. Oh, we've done it. I didn't. I was looking to see who got shielded, and I didn't even see that uh, that strike had finished off that last bandit. Nice. Outpost tunic. I wonder if that'll be any different. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to sell when we get back to the. Uh... Okay, no, that's not worth it. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to sell when we get back to the. To to Harm's Way or whatever the town is called. I think that's what it's called. All right, here we go. Hang on, is that... Oh, no. Okay, we got to fight. I managed to use my ability before... Uh, before the attacks... Before the fight started, so... That's good. Oh, nice. A critical. Oh, no. Garrison's taking some damage. Let's give him a heal. And, uh... And, yeah, maybe we'll bury a swing it. In the meantime... In the meantime, let's take out those two. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have used the wave attack then on with, with Garrison. I don't think it was worth it. Oh, that looks really cool. It does look really cool and it has a slow-mo thing going, which I like. So we've got him sundered, which means he takes more damage. Build up some overcharge, I think. Oh, we'll just kill him now. That's good. Sorted. <laughs> no, please, don't get up. Nice. Okay. No, particularly... <gasps> oh. 
I thought we were going to have been thrown into that then. Okay, so we got a blade leaf and some money. So here we go. We're going to try and catch this. Oh, oh, it was a battle. I thought it was something to catch. You know, I thought it was like the observer thing from before. And we would try and catch it and uh, and then it would give us something. But no, it turns out it's not. Let's apply a bleed. Um, it's actually really close. It's pretty close to going down already. So we're just gonna we're just gonna finish it off with normal attacks. Okay, that was easy. I suppose the idea of this room was that all three would attack you at once. I'm gonna guess, and we managed to get two of them off instead of having to fight all three. Never like that's fine with me though. Oh, how do we get out of the room? Oh, we have to go down here and there's another fight. Okay, I'm going to attempt a stun. I don't know if it worked or not. Let's check. Yes, it is stunned. And we only have to fight one at a time as well. So we're going to use the free turn to build up overcharge for everybody and apparently take out like half of his health. And then... Then I'm going to go for things like the bleed, the obliterate, and I guess the quake fist and we might finish it off. Oh, we definitely will, yeah. So it does get an attack. Wow, 68 HP that did. That kind of thing is insane. But we've taken it down. Did we level up? No, not quite. Okay, so we've got... Oh, I did not see that rogue there. I suppose he was invisible. Why can't we use Obliterate? Oh, because nobody is sundered? Oh, but no, because he's invisible. Oh, he's invisible. So that actually means we can't... We have to use, like, Rage Wave and use up some of our precious mana. Um, I'm going to taunt to make sure that... Calibretto is safe. Whoa. Nice. Right, and then we're going to use a... Barrius. No, no, we're going to just jab. And then... Can we finish him off? No. Okay, so we'll just gut punch. He's going to use Scorpion Strike on Gully, but that should be okay. Yeah, it's just about okay, actually. And then uh, that should finish him off. Good stuff. Ah, oh, so close to level 6. Right, so we found a scroll here. There's a uh, teleporting room. Can it use while enemies are nearby? Fine, yeah. So there's an enemy nearby there. So we'll 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 fight that. Oh, it's running away. Oh, that was weird. Okay, there we go. We caught it. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna have to heal. Well, actually, no. If we can take it out quickly. If we can take it out quickly, then we won't need to heal, and Gully and Calibretto should both level up. So we'll just basically use everything. And just take it out straight away, is the plan. And I think everybody will level up, and then they'll gain back all of their health and mana. That's my plan, let's see how it works. Ah, 
Oh, it didn't quite work for Garrison, but it did work for the other two. And we unlocked hero perks, so I don't know what those do. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so let's just check the... Yeah. Okay, so we've got one... We've got a chest left somewhere, it says. Where is it? I don't see it anywhere. Doesn't seem to be in that part. I did that already, didn't I? Yeah. Anything over here? No. I opened this chest. Is it on the other side of the door? Oh, oh no. Mistake. Go back, go back. Okay. Uh... Oh right, I don't, I don't know then. Because mm, I've looked everywhere. I'm sure I have, there's nothing left here. I've been everywhere else. I opened this. There's nothing over here. No, there's nothing up here. No, did I open this? There's nothing here, nothing here, we'll let that thing go past. Anything down here? No. Okay, well I'm really stumped guys, I don't know where this last chest is. It's not like hidden behind this wall, nope. Nope, I don't see it, I think it's wrong. But okay, so we I normally keep the episodes to about half an hour, but we only have one room left of the dungeon, so we're going to go for it. This looks like some kind of boss crystal. Let's just have a quick look around. Oh my word, that's a lot of bandits there. Oh, that's because that's our friends over there, isn't it? Fighting the bandits. So, okay, so we'll do the boss crystal. We'll f save our friends. Oh, that heals and restores all mana. It's not a boss crystal. It's just a crystal in the boss room. Okay, all right, okay. So let's do it then, the final battle. I think our friends are there. What is going on here? Okay, nice little. I like it when they do that, a bit like a comic strip. I've I've heard actually that this this story is a, was a is a comic, so that would explain why. So Blade Fiend, oh my goodness, look at that thing. This is gonna make for a fun boss fight. Oh, the music's going. I like it. All right, here we go. Level one burst. Burst. Attacking, healing, and taking damage will build up your party's burst bar. Once you've built up a full charge of burst, any one of your heroes can expend the charge to unleash their own unique burst ability. Oh. So what's his burst? 49 piercing damage and cause target to bleed for 25 damage over 3 turns, ignoring damage mitigation. Let's just do that. Let's just put the bleed on. Nice. Oh, it's really nicely animated as well. Okay, so in the meantime, let's build up some overcharge. Oh, that did like no damage. Casting Curse of the Blade. So we're all cursed. Okay, so it's like a bleed. Four damage for f like five turns. Fine. We've got him sundered, so we'll do some extra damage with that. And I think we should barrier swing. Oh, we got a crit. Whoa, no way. Do you see how much damage that did? We can't take too many of those. Is he still bleeding? 
No. So we'll go for the sting then. Okay, and I want to heal Calibretto. And we'll go for a Quake Fist. And 35 overcharge, not enough. Okay, we got 45 on Garrison, so basically next turn Garrison's going to use... Oh, we can burst. What does this do? Heals each party member for 38 health. Removes two buffs. But we don't, we don't need that right now, so we're going to Gut Punch. And then maybe we'll get him to burst. 49, so it will kill. It will kill it. Do it, Garrison. Do it. Cha! Nicely done, party. Nicely done. So he's leveled up, so he now has his hero perks, which I forgot to check before. We got some loot, we got a broadsword and a small blade shard, okay. The blade they pulled from that thing was an artifact. This is more than some bandits screwing around. The bandit who got away dropped this insignia as he fled. Have you ever seen one like it? No, I haven't. It sounds like we're paying Greenbeard at least one more visit. Yes, we are. Right, well Garrison is not going to be happy with that, is he? Because it's like, uh, we're being dragged into it just like he thought. Right, so we've got a treasure cache. We just have to leave now. Hang on, I'm just going to check what these perks are. Here we go. So, what do we do then? Do we have a... We've got six points. Ah, we've got six points. So, crit chance up. Second wind. At the end of combat, Garrison has 16 health. AP up, attack power goes up. Warblade, two. It raises the amount of overcharge that can be consumed. Crit damage up, start strong. Oh, that sounds good. Let's spend two points in that. And then we'll spend four points in that, I guess. Oh, we've got two different types. Oh, no. Wait. What if I want to take those out? Oh, we can actually take those out. So let's just check. So we got Swordsman, which is... Damage... And a Wanderer, which looks like a tank, like a tank kind of class. You know, sturdy, there's like, um, he'll, he has like a hundred life leech if we make it to a hundred mastery. Um, so I actually think Gully would be a better, like, I think we'll make Gully the tank. Garrison can be damaged, so yeah, I think we do want these kind of things. Okay. And then Gully has an Avenger or a Guardian. So we'll go for the Guardian for Gully. Increases a very chance, physical defense, stamina. Being attacked or 20 ever charge, good sword defense. Using defense, reduces damage taken by additional 10%. That might make it a bit more worth it. We'll go for armor up for now. And stamina up. And then Calibretto. I guess we'll go for him being a healer right now. Preemptive healing. Heals the most damage ally for 20 health over 3 turns at the start of combat. Ooh. At the end of combat, heals the party for 11 health each. Heals self over 3 turns when struck by a crit. That sounds useful too. I like this one. And this one. So that's what we're going for for now. It'll be interesting to see what the other two characters have when we find them. Is there anything like here we can do? Oh, we got a red rusty blade. And we did get our treasure cache. So how do we how do we leave now? Let's just go through. So the red rusty blade is actually bad for us. Can't believe that. Wow. The coast iron broadsword is good for us though. It's just it's just a straight upgrade compared to what we had and the treasure chest open to get outpost tunic oh just an outpost tunic but a blue outpost tunic so maybe that's better damage goes up and defense goes down stamina goes up yeah why not we'll equip it okay so we done in the dungeon now yes we are so how do we get out of the dungeon do we just have to, like, 
go back. Am I missing something? Leave the dungeon. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, and now we're out. There we have it. Right, guys. So that's our very first dungeon complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually think the dungeon was really, really interesting and entertaining. And they had some new ideas that uh, that were a bit different. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, please let me know what your favourite part was. Or, you know, in the comments, leave me a comment to say who your favourite character is. Um, it really does help when you guys like or subscribe or comment on the channel. And uh, thank you for everybody that does that. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time for the next episode.